Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome in. I hope you're all doing really, really well. My name's Amanda and this is the Connected Conduit where I just open up, tippy tap in and bring through messages for you. So I'm really feeling Isis, okay? Mother Isis, her energy is coming through. I'm really feeling this maternal love from her, okay? Um, it's very sweet and nurturing, but she's also bringing through this energy of like, it's time to reclaim your power. It's time to boss up. It's time to take control of your life. It's time for you to take control of um, your thoughts and certain situations in your life. Okay, because what I'm hearing is that for some of you watching, you've let just like a few things fall by the wayside. Now, this could be for some of you, it's like a spiritual practice that you have stopped doing. She wants you to get back into your spiritual practice on a regular basis. Have a routine that incorporates a spiritual practice every day, she's saying, okay? She's saying this is for your own benefit. And by having this spiritual practice every day, only good things are going to come of it, all right? So she's showing me the Six of Pentacles and she's saying you have to give to receive, you have to give in order to receive. It's a it's give and take. What you put out is what you will receive. Okay? So she's also showing me something where someone is trying to bend something and she's like is somebody Take it how it resonates, but for most of you watching, she's making me feel like you're trying to bend something or someone to your will. Bend someone or something to your will. And she's saying to surrender, surrender control, relinquish control, let go, and... Fully focus on you. Fully focus on you, your pentacles, your career, your spiritual development, your family, your pets, whatever it is you've got going on. Focus on self-care, self-development, and completely take your focus off of this person that you're trying to What's the word? She is saying control, okay? You may be trying to control someone here or get them to see things your way or get them to do what you want to do, but she's saying that's not going to happen, right? You can't force someone to be something or someone that they're not. You can't force someone to be someone or something that they're not. And the best, the best place for you to put your energy and your focus is on you and being the best person that you can be in order to come into a state of wholeness and oneness so that you don't, you don't need people in your life to be something. Like you, you'll, when you step into a state of wholeness, you, you don't need anyone or anything, right? It's like that empress energy. And when you're like that, when you're in that energy, you can welcome people into your life and you accept them as they are. You accept them as they come without wanting, without expecting something from them, right? When you're whole and you don't need anything from anyone, then you don't have to expect anything from anyone. So that when people come into your life, you're not expecting them to, to, to provide something to you because you can provide everything to yourself. Do you know what I mean? Because a lot of times, and everyone does this, right? It's a learning curve for sure. So it's something we all learn. Um, sometimes if we, we're not whole and we're expecting like somebody to bring something to the relationship and then they don't, we feel let down. We feel betrayed, right? And we're like, you're not doing this. You're not doing that. But it's like that person you know, that's just who they are. <laughs> it's just who they are and they can't change that, right? Um, 
And then it can create conflict and arguments and disagreements and, and just feelings of like you might be clashing with someone or that person may feel like they just can't be enough for you or do enough for you to please you, okay? And then it just leads to a whole lot of disappointment. So that's just what I'm getting. So she's saying work on feeling whole and... Take control of you and your life and your career and what you want and where you're going and really develop your gifts because for many of you, I feel like you've been getting the nudges to do that for a while, but you haven't been listening to it. Okay, she really wants to work with you. You're very magical. You're very psychic. You're very powerful. Conflict and war on the bottom. So this is what she's talking about that conflict energy, when you expect someone to be something or someone that they're not, it creates issues. When the only person you should have expectations of is yourself. Abundance. Ooh. Welcome, abu welcome abundance into your life. Okay. This is body, two souls. This is giving me the two of cups energy here. Soulmate, partnership. And we have chaos on the bottom of the deck. So I really feel that for those of you who have tuned in, Isis is coming through to help you with your relationships. Your relationship to yourself comes first. Because when you come into a state of wholeness and balance and oneness within self, you are then able to turn around and have really healthy, balanced, whole relationships and connections with other people. Okay, so, and if you're not in a, in a state of wholeness, if you haven't fully accepted who you are and you're not in a state of self-love um, and you're still reliant or dependent or codependent on other people for to bring you certain things that you you need, then that has to be healed first before you can experience like a true love, all right? Um, when you expect things of other people, what it can do is create chaos in your life chaos in the connection because that person they're gonna start feeling again like they're they're not enough or they can't please you or they're gonna start feeling drained because you keep like you know maybe asking things of them or demanding them to be something that they're not and it's just gonna it's gonna end in heartache is what she's saying we have accomplishment coming out and number five and I feel that She's coming through to say, really focus on your career, yourself, your healing, your accomplishments. What do you want to achieve? What are your dreams, your goals? Instead of focusing your energy on somebody else, focus on you, okay? Focus on you and where you're going. It's also a number five. Number five is, uh, it's a number of conflict, change, chaos, competition, struggling, fighting, arguing. So you could be seeing the number five, 555, five, five, 55, 515, 255, 525. And if so, this is going to be, that will be extra confirmation for you that this, this reading is aligned with you. We have chaos coming out. It's a number 11. Yes. Okay, so in order to regain um, a sense of balance and control in your life, she she's really asking you to, to look at yourself for the answers, to look for your to look inwards 
for the answers that you're seeking when it comes to restoring harmony and balance in your current relationships, whether that's relationship with friends or coworkers or family members or a romantic partner, it doesn't matter. In every relationship in your life, she really just wants you to kind of take a good, good look at how things are going there for you. And um, in order to restore things to a state of balance, She's saying you've got to come into a state of wholeness, okay? Death and endings on the bottom of the deck. Um, notice how this, this snake is all bendy and twisty and turny. She's just bringing my attention to that. It's like trying to bend someone to your will, it, it's going to be impossible it's just going to lead to frustration on both parts because that person's going to feel like you're controlling them and you're going to feel frustrated because you're trying to mold them into something or someone that they're not so instead of trying to change other people ask yourself why you want that person to change right and maybe is there something within you that you need to change rather than trying to change that in, in someone else. And she's also saying, take a good hard look at your connections, right? And, and ask yourself if they're serving you. Do they bring you joy? Do they bring you happiness? Can you bring yourself joy and happiness without needing somebody else to bring that to you? Can you fill your own cup? Can you fill your own bucket? Or do you rely on other people to do that for you? And then when they don't, when they're not able to do that, do you lash out at them? Do you get angry? Do you get frustrated? Do you get mad? Okay, because if you do, that's definitely a red flag saying, okay, we've got to look at something here. There's something within self that needs to be healed. Tree of life and wisdom. So this is a great learning opportunity for you to gain some wisdom and knowledge around relationships, you guys, especially with yourself, your own relationship with you. Fertility. So she really wants you to focus on what you're giving birth to right now, like these new beginnings that you're wanting to start or give birth to. This could be a new project, a new business, new relationships, whatever it is for you. Okay, she really wants you to move forward with whatever it is you've been like... <laughs> delaying she's she's saying you've been delaying or holding off on moving forward with this this new beginning of yours and she's saying it's now it's it's time it's time to focus on your career on you on your development on birthing these new beginnings we have care and nurturing coming out okay so strong message around stepping into self-care self-love filling up your own cup Nurturing yourself, caring for yourself, speaking kindly to yourself, you know, positive self-talk. Because I'm feeling like for some of you, for some of you, you're with someone and you're constantly angry with them and frustrated with them because they're not, they're not giving you what you need. And so you're looking outside of yourself. You're looking to someone else to fulfill you. And, and Isis is saying, no, you can't do that. On, you and only you have the ability to fulfill yourself. Okay. And I feel that by wanting so much from this person, you, you're depleting them, okay? Because I'm noticing this person here, they look exhausted and drained and they're sort of 
getting a hug from this person here, <laughs> okay? And then there's this other person here who's like, come on, fill my cups. What are you doing? Fill these for me. Come on, let's go, get to work. You're not doing it right. My cups aren't filled, come on. And this person is like, oh my God, I can't do this. I can't keep giving to this because I'm exhausted. And this person's never satisfied with me. I can never do anything right. I can never satisfy them or bring them happiness or joy. It's just like this repetitive cycle of me trying and then them being dissatisfied with me. And then there's failure and there's fighting. And like, I think I, I want out of this. Okay, so I feel, you guys, that this person, they're, they're, they're wanting to either go in a different direction or they want to break from you or they might not want to be around you very much like you're exhausting them and you're kind of pushing them away is how I feel okay I just split the deck on creation and artistry so Isis is saying focus your attentions on your creative projects okay and if you don't have a creative project then get one Find something that you enjoy. Okay, it's almost like you're expecting this person to entertain you or to keep you satisfied in some way, but they can't. They can't do it. And the reason why they can't do it is because you need to be the source of your satisfaction. And when you are, when you are, then you're always going to be happy. You're always going to be able to fulfill yourself and you're not going to need other people to do that for you. So then you're going to have healthier relationships moving forward once you do that, okay? And the, the, the way you're going to be able to fill your own cup is to find out who you are. Who are you? At a soul level, who are you? What do you like to do? What do you enjoy? What are you good at? What are you passionate about? What are you curious about? What do you want to learn? What do you want to create? What do you want to do, right? So that's that's basically the message from Isis today coming through. Sorry about the loud sound, you guys. We've got Satan and his leaf blower outside today. Six of Wands, success, victory, overcoming challenges. So Isis wants you to know, like, you're going to overcome these challenges. You're going to overcome the chaos and the fighting and the dis disagreements and the arguing. And you're going to find common ground. You will overcome this. And whatever you're wanting to do for a career or whatever you are doing for a career, you're going to have some sort of a breakthrough here a big breakthrough moment, you're going to be seen and recognized for the work that you do, or your work is going to be seen and recognized. Okay, because may, maybe some of you are artists. The Page of Swords. So this speaks to being curious, gathering more information, learning, learning about something new, learning about your passions. What does your heart want? right? What does your heart want? What is it? What is it saying to you? When was the last time you checked into your heart space, right? And said, hey, hey, heart, what do we want here? What's going to make us happy, right? That's where Isis wants your focus. She's like, go within and ask yourself, what's going to make you happy? And if you don't know, then research, gather information, be curious, go on an adventure, read a new book, register for a course, Try something new, explore, have fun, figure it out, figure out who you are. Death and rebirth. So she's saying that there's going to be an end to an old way of doing things in order for you and this person to have a new beginning, okay? But there's going to be a shift in the dynamics in your relationship is what she's saying, okay? Because the way that things are going right now, it's not healthy and it's not working. And so there has to be change here. There has to be growth. There has to be a shift in order for things to keep growing and expanding in a positive direction for the two of you. Okay, and I feel that shift is going to be your mindset and where you put your focus and your energy. You're going to change the way you think about things, including yourself and relationships, and you're going to change 
your focus off of this person and you're going to put it onto yourself. And I'm telling you, it's going to lead to a lot of blessings and abundance for you. Okay. Um, remember to practice. Remember to have a spiritual practice every day. Okay. Now that could be meditation, yoga, listening to music, dancing, walking through the forest, anything, anything where you feel calm and your mind can be quiet. The nine of pentacles. So that's an energy of being single, you guys. So for some of you, you may even uh, like end up taking a break um, from dating or from this person that you're currently with. And, and maybe you guys go your own separate ways for a little bit in order to figure out like who you are and what you really want. Okay, because the nine of pentacles is an energy of being single, living your best life and knowing your worth and being able to make yourself happy. Like this woman in this card, she has created her own abundance. Nobody else is here with her, only her. She and only she has created this beautiful life for herself. And this is the energy that spirit is, is trying to get you in, okay? Yep, look, the empress energy, okay? They're trying to get you into this beautiful empress energy of being able to give birth to whatever you want and not needing anybody else in your life to bring you joy or happiness, okay? there's You're going to be complete. You're going to be whole in who you are. And you're going to want for nothing. And when you want for nothing... It's so empowering, you guys. And then you can welcome beautiful relationships into your life and you can just love that person for who they are without wanting or needing anything from them or without wanting them to change because you want them to suit your needs. Do you know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. So Isis wants you to birth, birth this new beginning into existence for yourself by starting something new researching, being curious, gathering information, registering for a course, watching a video, reading a book, um, and whatever, whatever new beginning that you have been delaying for yourself, because the Page of Swords is a delay, she wants you to go now, okay, like start it, take those steps, make it happen, because it's going to lead to a whole lot of abundance for you, Ten of Pentacles, this is monetary wealth, spiritual wealth, family, friends, fun, laughter, health, good food, massive amounts of abundance of abundance for you, okay? We have the 7 of swords coming out. So, this is an energy of wearing a mask, right? And not being truthful or honest. It can be kind of like a sneaky energy of having like hidden motivations. Okay, so Isis is saying that you may struggle with trusting yourself. You struggle with trusting in your own abilities to, to, to bring yourself joy or to be successful. And they're going to get you in this energy of seeing your worth and knowing your value and building up your confidence so that you do trust yourself. So that you feel empowered and confident and you go for things and you you take control of your life and you make things happen for you. And then you become very financially abundant on your own, right? And then it's just like, you're, you're just going to feel so much better when you're in that energy. There's a new beginning here that really wants to be birthed, Ace of Wands. She's saying you can do it. You have what it takes. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. The three of pentacles. So this speaks to like a work situation, building your world, collaboration, and a seed, a new beginning. So there is a new beginning in your career here that really wants to be birthed. And that that's, she just keeps saying that it's time. It's time. Okay. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Woohoo! This is an energy of sitting pretty, knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing who you are, and bringing in like a lot of income on your own. 
okay? It's like you've earned this with your gifts and your abilities and nobody else can take this away from you. This is yours and yours alone. It's a gift. It's a divine gift. Ace of Swords. And that's the truth. That is the truth. Okay. So I'm going to pull some oracles for you now. I'm just going to take off my sweater though because the, whew, the energy is just flowing. And just so you guys know, like no judgment here. No judgment whatsoever. Um, I totally get what you're going through. Okay. I do. Nobody is perfect and we're all here. We're all souls having a human experience and we're all, you know, learning different lessons here. This is <laughs> life school, baby. So you're just learning. That's all. It's all good. Sop debt, cosmic power unlimited potential, sacred mission initiation. Whoa. Hello. So you have a really big purpose here. That's why you're being called to focus on it because um, <laughs> you have a sacred mission. So Isis is saying, get to work. She's saying, get to work on your spiritual development. Because when you develop your connection to your higher self, your own soul and the divine, only good things are going to come from it unlimited potential is what you will tap into so what are you waiting for right she's like what are you waiting for <laughs> i love it oh lakshmi and ganesh prosperity vibration you are attracting health wealth and happiness yeah that was coming through earlier with the ten of pentacles showing up you are and it's your wealth it's, it's like spiritual wealth and abundance that you are unlocking within you. It's, it's like your soul's gifts you are unlocking. And it's going to lead to massive amounts of abundance. And like I said before, it's like you're, you're progressing in your life due to your own gifts. Not because of anybody else. Not because, you know, somebody's giving you a leg up or bringing you stuff on a silver platter. No, this is going to be yours like something that you earned doing the like the hard work yourself and it's going to pay off big time you're really developing spiritually at this time whoa we have spiritual calling coming out wow michael and faith michael and faith spiritual calling divine protection breakthrough moment Gorgeous, gorgeous energy. So yeah, you do. You have a very high calling. You have a mission here. And your focus has, has been um, on other people instead of on you. And that's why this, that's why ISIS has been coming through in this reading to, to say, reclaim your power. Remember the mission. Remember why you're here. Remember who you are. Let's get back in touch with who you are at a soul level and what you want and where you're going and why you came here. Like, why are you here? What do you want to create? Because your soul came here to create something on earth. And it is time to birth that creation. The time is now. You are being called, okay? Do I want to get another oracle? Mm -hmm. I think I do. Be honest with yourself. Yeah, exactly. That's what came through when the Seven of Swords came out, you guys. Right? Be honest with yourself about who you are and how you feel about work situations in your life. Be honest about how you feel when it comes to all of your relationships in your life, including, you know, romantic relationships, friendships, relationships with coworkers, your parents, your children. Okay? Um, and, and, and ask yourself, like, just kind of do a relationship review. That's what she's saying. And if, if you are 
in a connection where you feel like there's there's not much of a future or it's very draining or something like that now's the time to do that reflection and think about things okay all of your feelings even the difficult ones have a message for you accept your truth and then let source take it from there This spiritual, this spiritual um, calling of yours, it's going to require you to trust, to trust in yourself and where you're being led because it's like whatever you're doing, you're creating from your own soul. So you're going to have to have that deep connection with yourself and your soul in order to do this. And that's why you're being encouraged to sit in meditation, go within, tap into your heart and your soul, okay? And just be really honest about yourself or honest when it comes to the relationships in your life and when it comes to certain patterns that you might be finding yourself in, right? Like maybe you have a, a, a pattern of, jumping from one relationship into the next without healing and you become sort of codependent on another person. Maybe you're someone who always feels like they need to be in a relationship or something like that. Okay, these are all things to just kind of look at and heal. It's time to play. You're working too hard and worrying about everything. Seek out joyous experiences to bring balance into your life. Yeah, so they really want you to explore, try something new, have fun, play, and, and figure out what you like. Like, what do you enjoy? Okay, because if you're not sure about what you should be doing in terms of your career, or if you're not sure what your divine mission is, then the best way to find out is to explore. Explore your inner world and get out there and have fun in your outer, outer world as well, okay? Someone new is coming. An important new relationship is on the horizon. Open your mind and heart so that happiness can enter your life. Okay, so there's just something really strong, you guys, about relationships in this reading. Isis has been coming through to talk about relationships and how, and how important it is to do a relationship review in, in all areas of your life, including like your job right? Because you can have a relationship with your job. You can have a relationship with a person, a place, or a thing. So just look at all of these relationships in your life and be honest with yourself about how they make you feel. And if they're not, you know, um, and if you're feeling the need for change, then listen, listen to that. Listen to your heart. Um, And be honest with yourself when it comes to like, are you are you seeking someone else to out to fill your cup or are you able to fill your own cup? And if you're not able to fill your own cup, then you're being encouraged to find ways to do that. OK, and again, one of the ways you're going to do that is by figuring out who you are, what you like, and that's what's going to bring you joy. That's what's going to make you feel fulfilled, not somebody else. Right. Only you have the ability to complete yourself. Only you have the ability to bring yourself true fulfillment and and success and love okay no one else can bring that to you you have to love yourself first before someone else can love you right i mean that in like a no that's not really true scratch that you have to love yourself fully and completely in order to have a really healthy balanced romantic relationship or even platonic relationship with someone else okay so I think I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, I'm sending you all the good vibes, wishing you all the best on your journey. And I can't wait to see what new beginning you birth here. It's really exciting. So um, yeah, I'll see you around, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.